Hi, I'm Jason Falcon, physicist, martial artist, and author of the upcoming book, Fight Like a Physicist from YMAA. This is How to Stop Momentum, part one. You can't. Transfer momentum to the head, resulting in rotation about the base of the skull, is a mechanism behind sensational knockouts, concussions, and ultimately CTE. Uh, for this reason, fighters, football players, athletes, and safety gear manufacturers all want to know, how do you stop momentum? Uh, unfortunately, you can't. Uh, momentum is a conserved quantity, and it can only be created or destroyed by applying a force from outside the system of reference. Energy is also a conserved quantity, but unlike momentum, energy has no directional component and can change forms easily. We saw in the last video how easy it was to protect yourself from a high energy incoming strike by using a rigid material to spread out the surface area of the strike and using a compressible material to absorb the energy of impact. Those approaches have exactly zero effect on momentum transfer, and I will demonstrate the futility of each by trying to stop this incoming medicine ball with a cookie sheet and a pillow. So that's it. Neither hard surfaces nor compressible materials can stop momentum. This means that boxing gloves, MMA gloves, football helmets, none of these things can reduce the transfer of momentum, and therefore none of these things provide meaningful protection for the brain.